Hi there, Neil from Woodland Mills. Today I'm out of my property and I've got the WG24 PTO drive stump grinder. So on, on my property here, I'm actually creating a trail system. Um, I've got a lot of cedars here, uh, mostly small as you can see, um, but nevertheless, I need to remove stumps. Uh, so we got a couple options when removing stumps. You know, you can, you can use an excavator and pull the stumps out. I, I don't have an excavator and access to one. So uh, I'm, I'm using a stump grinder. Um, so again, this, this cedar is, is small. It's probably only about, uh, we're probably gonna be about 12 inches by the time I fell the tree. Um, so I'm gonna have about a 12 inch stump to, to grind and to remove. Uh, you'll see that the, the stump grinder is going to remove the, the exposed root structure here and, and also go below the ground about six inches. So I'm gonna be able to uh, remove all the root structure within about a, you know, I'll probably do it within about a 36 inch radius and uh, go down about uh, six inches. So it'll create a, a, a pretty nice uh, soil base again. So when I am out on the ATV or the UTV or the snowmobile in the winter, um, it won't be an obstacle or, or a bump that I'm gonna run into. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fire up my, my chainsaw here. I'm gonna fell the tree, um, get it all limbed up, and then uh, yeah, we'll fire up the, the WG24 stump grinder and, uh, and show you how it works. All right, so I've felled the tree now. Um, I've, I've debranched it basically. I've created a pile in the back here ready for the wood chipper to clean up that, get rid of it. I can use the cedar chips, the mulch to put back on my trail. Um, and I've also been able to get about uh, three, three poles, so cedar poles for fencing. So I put those off the side. I'll grab the forks later on, pull those out. Uh, put them in the clearing ready for uh, ready for fencing. So I've made pretty good use of the tree so far uh, The chips will be used on the trail the poles will be used for fencing that I'm doing later on um, But now I'm left with this stump uh, right in the middle of the trail as you can see So I'm gonna go ahead and, and fire up the the stump grinder um, when, when I when I cut this tree down I kept it to uh, below the 12 inches So when I when I raise this stump grinder all the way up with my three-point hitch um, I'm about 12 inches off the ground. So it's something to keep in mind when you are uh, about to use the, uh, uh, the grinder and when you're felling a tree, just keep that stump you know, below 12 inches. Uh, also, the lower you keep it to the ground, the, the less work you're doing with the grinder, um, but, but not a big deal um, either way. So I'm gonna go ahead now, I'll fire up the, uh, the tractor and we'll start uh, grinding down.
you can see I've gone down quite far. I've gone down a good six inches. So, uh, so yeah, there's quite a bit of soil here, uh, roots and branches that I've just sort of back dragged. Uh, so the trail's, you know, pretty flush now. I don't have to worry about hitting any, any stumps or bumps uh, on, the, on the equipment anymore. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll probably pack it up with the stump grinder. I've got, uh, like I said, some, some chipping to do uh, to finish off this, uh, this tree here and then uh, continue on down the trail. Hope you've enjoyed the video. It's been Neil from Woodland Mills.